All right, in this video, I'll take you through the process of setting up the Atom text editor for your Mac machine. Atom is the editor that we'll be using to actually write our Ruby code throughout the course. Of course, if you're familiar with any other text editor, you're more than welcome to use the, whatever is your personal preference. For example, if you've worked with something like Sublime, that's totally cool. If you're familiar with full-blown IDEs or integrated development environments, those are totally fine as well. But if you're a complete beginner and you're sort of looking for your first text editor, I think that Atom is a great choice. So if you're unfamiliar with what a text editor is, Basically, we can't write our code in something like, uh, you know, text edit or notepad on Windows or even something like Microsoft Word. We need something that's going to actually help us write our code. As we can see here on the Atom page, which you can find on atom.io, we can see here the text editor offers us things like color schemes that indicates certain words and certain colors. Uh, it allows us to organize our files right here. It allows us to open multiple files at once and really easily click among them just like we do with tabs in the browser. Basically, a text editor makes it easier to write your code, makes it much more easier to detect things like errors and things like that. So we want to, to stick with this whenever uh, we're writing our code. And as far as, far as Atom itself, it's a great choice because it's really easy for beginners to pick up. Atom is actually developed by the exact same team that works on GitHub. If you're unfamiliar with GitHub, it's a very popular online storage place for people's code. People store what are called repositories there, which are basically just big projects. And uh, what that basically means is that Atom has the full support of a major tech company behind it. So it's not going away anytime soon. It's growing very quickly in popularity. It has a very large theme of open source developers behind it. Plenty of lots of, uh, plenty of add-ons and, and customizations and additional features that you can add on and remove and things like that. It's very open-ended. So I think it's a great choice for a first text editor if you're new to programming. So if you head to atom.io, you can go ahead and click this bright red download for Mac button and that will start the download of the zip file to your computer. I have it downloaded right here in my finder right here in my downloads folder. So when everything is downloaded on your end, you can simply double click to unzip the file. That's going to give us the Atom application, which we of course want to drag into our main applications folder for ease of reference. So I'm going to drag it into here. Then what I recommend is to take this Atom and simply drag it to the dock so you have it you know, really easily accessible. And once that's done, we can go ahead and launch it for the first time. The first time that Atom launches, it's probably going to give you a warning like this, going to ask you, it's an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, you can click open. It's totally safe. And Atom might also open with a little bit of documentation. Uh, depending on whether you've installed it previously, uh, it may not. For example, in my case, it launches me straight to a, a blank document. But in your case, if you simply see things like documentation, you can go ahead and explore it. Up top, you're going to see tabs like this, the exact same way that they appear in your web browser, for example, Chrome or Firefox. Each one basically represents another open file. So if you have a bunch of tabs open here, you can simply click the X button next to each one to get rid of them until we're back to this empty screen. So we've installed Atom, but we still need to set up a couple other things to ensure that we can work uh, very efficiently within this course. The first thing that I want to do as soon as I open up this window, is install a additional add-on for Atom called Atom Runner. The way we do that is by going to the main menu here, clicking Atom, and then down here we have this preferences option. Let's click on that. That's going to take us to the settings menu right here. And on the left here, we have a bunch of tabs that basically allow us to customize various features of the Atom text editor. I want to click this install button on the bottom right here. Up top here, you'll see that you can switch between packages and themes. This is basically where you, where you specify whether you want to search for a specific package. Uh, a package is just an add-on. What it basically does is add functionality on top of Atom. So it allows you to do different things depending on whatever you want. And it can be anything from serious programmatic help for example, documentation or some kind of uh, technical uh, feature to something completely silly like making your text explode as you write. So there's all kinds of different add-ons available. And then themes, of course, deals with the aesthetics of the text editor, which means how it looks, uh, what color schemes it uses, what fonts it uses, how tabs are represented, that kind of stuff. So let's go through an example of installing one package and one theme. So for packages, I want to search for atom-runner like this. All right, and with packages selected, I can press enter. 
and it's going to be this very first result that says Adam Runner uh, run scripts inside of Adam. Keep in mind your version here may be a little bit uh, a greater, that's totally fine. What you want to do here is just click the blue install button and that's all you need to do. It's going to query an online server, download that extension or add-on or library or package, whatever you want to call it, to our local computer and then Atom Runner is going to be set up. Once it's set up, we can actually click on this settings button right here and that'll take us to the documentation for the actual Atom Runner. And as I scroll down here, we'll actually see what a typical file will look like with Atom Runner. Here on the left, we have our sample code and you can actually see here, I don't know if you can see this right here, but it says Ruby. So what we have here is valid Ruby code, just like we're going to be writing throughout the course. And on the right, we have the output of running that actual Ruby file within our Atom text editor. That's why it's called the Atom Runner, because it runs our files within Atom. We don't need to jump out to the terminal every single time in order to test it. We can simply write a line of code and then instantaneously get validation by seeing how it looks. And this is basically how the entire course is going to proceed. I'm simply going to write a bunch of code here on the left, and then we're going to see the result in the Atom Runner feature on the right. For certain features, we'll have to go and dive out into the terminal because this functionality doesn't exist for every type of Ruby feature. But for the most part, we'll simply be using Atom Runner to immediately see uh, what we're going to, what, what, the result rather of what we've written. And as I scroll down here, you'll see a little bit of the documentation. The only thing you have to remember here is in order to activate the Atom Runner, all you have to do is press this combination, Control plus R. So you write your Ruby code in a valid Ruby file that has an extension of .rb. And then once you write that code, uh, you just press Control R and this thing will pop up on the right and show you the result of your code. And don't worry if this is a lot to take in. I'll take you through a step-by-step -step example in just a few lessons. All right. So we've installed the actual Atom Runner itself. Let's go back to this install section right here. And this time I'm going to switch to themes. And I'm now going to search for a theme. Of course, there's perhaps tens of thousands of themes available, but I'm going to search for one called Monokai Light. Now, you don't have to install this theme or even install any other theme. You can stick with the default options available. But if you want to follow along with my tutorials and you want everything to be exactly the same, and by that I mean the colors and the fonts and all, all that kind of stuff, if you like that similarity, then this is the theme that I'm going to be using throughout the course. So I'm going to click install right here. That's going to do the exact same thing as with Atom Runner. It's going to download it locally and that's it. It's already installed. We don't have to do anything more. Couple other things we have to do here. On the left, you see this editor tab right here. Let's click on that. Scroll down to the bottom of this thing and you're going to see this feature called tab length and it's the number of spaces that are used to represent a tab. Make sure that this setting is set to two. It may be set to two by default. If it is, then you don't have to switch anything. But if any other number is written here, just make sure you write two. What this basically means is telling, telling the text editor what's going to represent a tab. In other words, when we press the tab key on our keyboard, how many spaces is that equal to? And Ruby's best practice is for a tab to be equal to two spaces. Finally, what I want to do is actually activate the theme that I just downloaded. So here on the left, I'm going to click on themes. Here you see we have two options, UI theme, which is basically the user interface theme. So that's things like this, uh, the look of the text editor itself, its menus, uh, its buttons, that kind of stuff. Here I'm going to switch this to one of the available defaults, which is Atom Light. That just keeps things a little bit lighter. I think it's a little bit easier on the eyes for me. Of course, if you like a more darker theme, you're more than welcome to choose whichever one you like or download a custom one using the install button right here. And here the syntax theme actually refers to the syntax within the code files that we actually write. So when we're writing our Ruby code, how is it going to highlight certain keywords within the language and things like that. And here is where we're going to see our available Monokai Light. That's the thing that we downloaded just a few seconds ago in install. So this is what I'm going to be using. And once you activate that, that's it. You really don't have to do anything else. You can close out of your settings pane. And here you can see the entire UI of the text editor has changed. It's no longer dark. We have the light theme. And as soon as we starting, start writing our content within a Ruby file, you'll see that the syntax is also going to be uh, a brand new one compared to the Atom default. That's really all there is to this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll actually practice diving into our very first Ruby file. We'll write our very first line of code and use Atom Runner to run it from within our Atom text editor. All right, so I'll see you in the very next lesson.